Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at something a little bit more special than usual. I don't think a lot of people actually have footage of this on YouTube. So I'm pretty excited to be able to cover this. As you guys know, in the past I've been playing a lot of Crisis and see if I actually could get the multiplayer running on that because I just, I don't know, I was interested in trying it out really. And, um... As you guys know, it's actually been shut down because it uses uh, GameSpy, which has been offline for many years now. But a couple people have actually found workarounds for that, and they have actually made some, some shortcuts to, uh, to be able to actually still access some of the Crisis private servers that are still online to this day. So there's two communities that have uh, been able to do this so far. Um, one is German Crisis Community, and the other one is the Chrysurf Community. And so both of these communities have servers online. I will be linking uh, their websites in the description to see all the servers that are really online at the moment, which is still a decent amount. Not really a lot of people are playing, really. You gotta kinda figure out what the busy times are and when there's actually more people online. So it's not like you're gonna be in a populated server all the time, um, but it's it's not completely dead, guys. There is still a way to actually play Crisis multiplayer, which is, I mean, awesome to see a game that came out in 2009 still have a, how small it is, uh, multiplayer community. So, uh, you will obviously find the guides to both the um, German Crisis guide and the Chryserve guide on uh, Steam if you want to try this out yourself and see if you can find any matches with people in them. Um, in short, really um, what you have to do is you can't do this with the standard vanilla version um, of Crisis. You actually have to get the updated uh, multiplayer version of Crisis Wars, uh, which is the really the expansion to the Crisis multiplayer, that game with Crisis Warhead. So if you only own the Crisis 1 game, you're not going to be able to do this. You actually need to get Crisis Warhead with the multiplayer Crisis Wars expansion. Um, so at that point, you just have to follow the guides uh, that will be in the description and download the patches necessary to access uh, the Chrysurf and German Crisis servers. At the moment, I don't really know where the servers are located. I think the German Crisis ones are actually not in Germany, they're somewhere in, in Eastern Europe. I don't know what country exactly. And the Chrysurf ones are primarily in Germany. One is in America. I can see North America and the United States uh, and that's about it so I think this is really only gonna work for people in Europe as far as I know unless you don't mind uh, dealing with high pings because obviously if you're from the United States you need to connect to servers that are you know a third across the world which is gonna take a very long time for your internet to reach and come back making for high response time and high pings and that kind of stuff um, uh, yeah other than that um, really in the background you can see some of the gameplay that I had it was actually surprisingly very fun to play I did not expect to have that much fun in a server with only like four people. I think we had three people on each team at the moment that of, of this recording and uh, well I, I was surprised with how um, you know good the community was uh, everyone was really trying to work together to get the edge on the enemy team um, we were really strategically placing ourselves to cap some of the points I don't really know what game mode this is on the top of my head, uh, but really the the main objective of uh, this game mode is to capture as many of the uh, territories as possible and you get a certain amount of points 
uh, for this for a certain amount of time that you hold these points and pretty much what you what the teams have to do is is take the objectives from each other to generate more points for their team and get closer to victory uh, that's what it comes down to so really in this match we um, we strategically placed our teammates in a way that we were able to uh, defend some of the points and also go capture some of the points incredibly fast. One of the reasons why that's possible is because there is a ton of vehicles. If you've seen my Crisis single player uh, walkthrough, then you know the abundance and variety of uh, vehicles that there are actually in Crisis and those are also carried over into the multiplayer aspect of the game. Some other game modes have things like tanks and VTOLs, I believe. Uh, you won't see that, that in this recording. In, in this match, we mostly just used uh, Jeeps, but near the end, you'll also see some uh, helicopter gameplay that we used as uh, CAS for one of our ground troops. Uh, and it was it was very very cool to see the team working together in a way that they did it kind of gives me this old-school battlefield vibe when um, You know you had everyone divided in squads and people would actually try to work together to get an edge on the enemy team uh, by strategically planning out moves and and focusing uh, the force of your team into one location to overwhelm uh, the enemy and so yeah I thought that was something very extraordinary and it was very cool to see that that was even possible on such a low populated server because most of the time you're not really going to be able to uh, get you know very populated games I think that just the fact that these servers are there is really a cool thing already because really for if there are some communities out there that might be interested in doing some community events you could really in one night just get these servers filled up and do like massive battles I think that most of these servers have a capacity of 32 players in total some even 42 and I mean that's that's a lot of people at the same time that's 16 versus 16 in a combined arms environment and I think that would be very interesting for like if, if you could scramble the, the the rest of the community or have a play night or some some kind of thing like that where we can get a load of people on at the same time I don't think you're gonna be able to reach that population on any of the servers without doing a planned event like this but I definitely think that if um, more people install uh, these multiplayer patches and they uh, start playing on these servers on a regular basis that we can actually have a pretty fun time with just you know a good five to ten people on a server uh, on some certain busy nights and really that that makes me all warm and fuzzy inside to see that there's actually still people that care uh, about you know the, the crisis multiplayer because I think that a lot of potential was wasted when it, it kind of died off so fast due to uh, GameSpy that has been shut down and I think it is an absolute great great multiplayer uh, experience um, just for the fact that uh, you don't really get something like this anywhere else with the suit functions that make you go into stealth mode and uh, armor mode and power mode that kind of stuff of course I'm pretty sure the crisis 2 and crisis 3 multiplayers are still available you also got kind of the to Titanfall and Call of Duty uh, advanced warfare and, and uh, black ops 3 which is kind of going into futuristic thing but this I mean this is kind of pretty old-school and if there are any any people out there still that really enjoyed the single player I highly recommend just uh, downloading one of these or both of these multiplayer patches and check it out if you can get on uh, the Cryserve or German crisis servers to uh, to have a good night so um, yeah I think that's gonna be rounding off really the video uh, I was just wanting to show you that you know what amazing people are out there and you know I, I think it, it's really it was really fun for me to do this and I might uh, hop on the servers once in a while uh, more when there are some people online as well 
uh, that said, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be making some more videos on my Crisis single player playing through the campaign. You can hang around and check that out if you want. That said, um, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!